Hello, everyone, and welcome to GNF 2020. My name is Marina Fortea. I'm a lawyer of trade pacts, a Geneva-based advisor specializing in international law and uh, the application to regulations. We routinely assess the regulations, including EVPs, in light of pre-existing obligations of different countries and given their membership to different international organizations. Today, I have been invited and have the honor to make the introduction for this GNF 2020 session titled Tobacco Harm Reduction, Taking Stock of Regulation. It is a particular pleasure for me to do this. This panel cannot be more timely given the richness of events in the EVP sector over the last 18, 24 months. On top of the list, we have the Evali crisis in the US, which triggered certain regulatory reactions. These reactions are not only restricted to the US. A number of other countries are rather active in discussing EVP regulations, although there is a marked slowdown linked to COVID. We see a number of EVP regulatory initiatives, which now refer to the US Evali crisis one way or another. Evali has triggered new regulations in the US, at both federal and local levels, but also and notably outside it. For example, regulations are underway or have already been approved in the Philippines, India, China, Denmark, a few other countries. These regulations take the shape of internet sales bans, flavor bans, pre-market approvals, total bans, or very high taxation. While this crisis poses a lot of challenges to the free circulation of e-vapor products. In my view, this is also an opportunity to come up with better regulations, which will help prevent future barriers to trade in EVPs and let investors tap on their R&D efforts. That said, I'm happy to introduce the speakers of this session. The first speaker is Tim Phillips from ESIG Intelligence, who will actually talk about the U.S. developments and the impact of the Valley crisis on the U.S. market and beyond it. Patricia Kovacevic from Regulatory Strategy will then talk about the possibility to accelerate tobacco harm reduction via regulatory and economics measures. This is followed by my presentation discussing the relevance of human rights, in particular the right to health, uh, for the regulation of uh, e-vapor. As we know, countries like US and EU are the ones which have a certain impact on global regulations, and this session would be incomplete without glancing what's happening in the EU and the upcoming revision of the TPD. This needs to be squared with the 9th FCTC conference of the party, which has been now delayed to 2021, due to COVID. This topic will be addressed in more detail by Avri Duplessis, a legal expert from South Africa. Last but not least, a lot of regulatory learning can be done in the context of regulations proposed in other sectors or in other markets. Quite of relevance here is the cannabis regulation, a market, a market strongly interlinked with the one of EVPs. Shane McGill from Euromonitor will be kindly sharing with us his insights on this topic. While we'll get the chance to hear more about each speaker at the beginning of their presentations, I have to conclude by saying that this session is relevant to both the e-cigarettes and electronically heated tobacco products regulations, just as it may be relevant to people interested in the regulation of other tobacco alternatives. I would like to thank the speakers for their valuable contribution to this discussion, and I really hope to meet you in person during next, next GNF. Don't miss out on this interesting session, and thank you for your attention.